peace. Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother, Raheem Ali. I'm your investigative reporter coming at you once again. This is uh, Raheem versus Hezekiah Ben Israel recap. I just wanted to show the people how funny this guy is. He basically told me I didn't answer a question to another guy who called in about Muslims worshiping the black stone. This is the type of red herrings these guys throw at you when you're debating them. They always say you're not answering questions which I did, you're going to hear it. You're reading the Bible out of context. First of all, I understand the Bible better than you in Hebrew and English and some of the Greek. I'm going to also show you that he doesn't even understand his own works of his Bible in Hebrew. Because if he did, he would know Muhammad peace be upon him is in the Bible. So let's listen at the tape. Yeah, what's going on, brother? How you doing? What's up, Sal? Raheem and Hezekiah. Um, I just wanted to say good job, Hezekiah, because Raheem clearly stuck in the, the um, camel question. But my um, question is for Raheem. In Deuteronomy 28 and 36, it says, uh, The Lord thy God shall bring thee in thy king thou set and their fathers shall serve other gods as wooden stone. Why do the Quran command Muslims to worship, go to Mecca to bow down to to um a rock? And that's your question? Yeah. Okay. Let me explain that. Basically, in Islam, we're not bowing down to a rock. What we are doing is before Islam as you see it, the Hebrews used to pray towards Jerusalem. That was what is called Qibla, meaning direction. Allah changed that, and Ishmael, Abraham is the ones who built the Kaaba, which is in Mecca. Allah told Muhammad to tell us to face the direction. The, the special word there is Qibla in Arabic, meaning direction. We're not praying to anything. We're praying to Allah, but he just wants us to pray to that direction in a uniform manner, to venerate him. And that's basically it. It's not, it's not anything to do with the house or the rock. Yeah, that does that clear up your question, brother? Yep. I'm here, yeah, all right, so we're just going to move on to the next person. Now, hold on. Matter of fact, let me let my brother Hezekiah respond. You want to respond, my brother? Uh, um, he, he ain't even answered the question, man. He ain't even answered the brother question. The brother asked, why did you pray to a rock? He said, is they praying to Allah? Then remove the rock. If you're praying to Allah, remove the stone. Now that you heard that, you can understand I answered that man's question. I told him the direction that we pray is the Kibla. We don't worship a stone. And then he goes into, well, why don't y'all get rid of the rock? First of all, he himself, he's not in Israel. The Caucasian so-called Jews are there. They have it, but they would give him a problem getting in, whether he know it or not. He's sitting here in America talking that Israel crap and he don't have no stake over there. Okay? Now, if he knew Islam, he would know we don't worship no rock and we don't worship the Kaaba. We don't worship the sun, moon, nor stars. Allah is clear in the Quran, do not worship the sun or the moon. How stupid is, is this guy? I mean, really. Okay. He uses a comic book 
folks, he tells me to go up online, look up Alberto, to see if the Islam was created by the Catholic Church. So I go on, and the, this is the list that I found. You will own, if you type in Islam created by the Catholic Church, the only reference is Alberto Rivera. This is what I was telling him in the debate. You're reading your stuff from a freaking comic book. There are no other sources, people. You think I'm going to take some fanatical, mysterious, boogeyman, Alberto Rivera side and think Islam was started by the Catholic Church? He's the only one who says this. First of all, Islam was before the Catholic Church. I can prove it. I dare anybody to come and debate me on it. See, I have documents from my academic world to show Islam was before the Catholic Church even existed. Okay? So, this is the type of nonsense he pulls. Oh, you ain't answered his question. You sound like an idiot. I, I answered his question and gave him the Islamic term Qibla, where we, meaning directions just like Jerusalem the people before worship towards uh, Jerusalem that would be almost like me saying why don't they take down a wall if the people worship towards Jerusalem I have to question him is he practicing really the, ch the children of Israel type of uh, religion or faith these dudes say they the house of Israel they not practicing anything of what they're talking about they are not fasting this dude sat up online and tried to debate me about drinking wine saying we hit the Sarat and all this nonsense in your Bible I have other references that says in your Bible you're not supposed to drink wine there's a con and if you show me that there in your Bible you can drink wine, then there's a contradiction in your Bible. My Quran says do not deal with intoxicants constantly. It doesn't switch us up. You talking about me following that book? You gotta be crazy. There's so many errors. I done proved that. That's why dudes don't want to debate me. Josh scared to death to debate me because of the last debate. I hit him upside the head. But this guy way terrible. I mean way terrible in his thinking. A comic book? You got your <laughs> your knowledge from a comic book and you only got it from one source and when I asked you did you get a reference? Well I only got this. For I'm like listen uh sound crazy you only got one source and that source is alberto and that can't even be proven so i say you say get rid of the rock i say well take down the, the, the jerusalem wall where you see them right here in this picture bobbing their heads to praying at you take down your wall Get rid of the Star David. You want to play uh, this pseudo idol semantics? Okay, get rid of the Star David. Okay, stop playing games. People, these guys play games. They're not serious. They're not serious. They just playing games and want to be known. They're not telling the truth all types of nonsense you can drink wine do you know how stupid that sounds you telling people they can drink wine you just like the children of Israel that they disobey Yahweh or law you see and you're switching the book around you putting the book behind your back and then you telling and projecting your own doctrine. You're not supposed to drink wine. 
You're a liar. And that's my take on it. You're straight up lying. So folks, my Muslim people, people that aren't Muslim, these guys are a phone. Like I said, I'll debate anyone from the ch children of Israel or whatever you want to call it, the house of Israel, your Israel, or whatever. Israel is no longer the chosen people. I haven't been like that for over 1900 years. I can prove it from your own book. And it will be clear. I won't be taking things out of context. Word for word from your book. So with that. I say assalamu alaikum. And peace to everyone. That's trying to look. For the right direction in life to go. And stand in truth. Peace.